Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel, I'm ASD and this video is going to be about 10 JavaScript video courses available online that I would like to share and recommend. So if you're interested, keep on watching. Yes, finally I am back to publishing a web development related content. This is the primary topic of my channel, but every now and again I swoop in other things. I prefer learning through videos, so that's why I'm focusing on video courses right now. I mean, there are other resources, there are different forms of learning, but for me, videos are the way. And those are the courses that help me just clarify the whole JavaScript thing, because it can be daunting, it can be confusing, it can be overwhelming. When you're coming from um, HTML and CSS, JavaScript is just a different world. And one more thing that I do want to mention is I am worried about mispronouncing people's names. I don't want to do that, so I'm going to use a digital voice over, so in case of something going wrong it will be the digital voiceovers fault not my fault so yeah i will i will just swap in a bit of digital voiceovers and they will be announcing the courses i am going to start in the backwards order so number 10 javascript understanding the weird parts created by anthony alicia this course is available on Udemy. This is where I purchased it from. And the first three and a half hours are also available on YouTube for free. In terms of being current, on YouTube you can see that the course was originally published in 2015. The course is not current. Now whether this course is suitable to be your first ever JavaScript course, I would say probably not. It will be easier for you to follow along and understand what he's talking about if you do know the basics of JavaScript. Let's hear a little bit of it. Well, it's lexically sitting in the global environment. Remember that this is where it sits. It's actually attached to the global object. For me, this is not a faster pace. This is more towards a slower pace. The duration of the course is 12 hours of video lessons, so this is under 25. This course does not feature any projects. This course does not offer code alongs. When it comes to frameworks, the course doesn't actually have any content related to frameworks. But what is worse, there is confusing content. There is a section titled Examining Famous Frameworks and Libraries. And this section is about jQuery. Another section titled Let's Build a Framework slash Library. I think that is important to know from the very beginning that frameworks and libraries are not the same thing. Those two terms are not interchangeable. jQuery, which is featured in the course, is a library, while some of the most famous frameworks are React, Angular, and Vue. Extra help from the instructor, I'm gonna have to say no. Number 9. The Complete JavaScript Course 2022, From Zero to Expert, created by Jonas Schmetman. This course is available on Udemy, this is where I have it, and there it says that it was updated in 2022, which makes it a current course. This course is suitable to be your first JavaScript course. Let's hear a little bit of it. Let's now consolidate the knowledge that we got over the last two videos. A new operator the first thing that's gonna happen is that a new empty object is created instantly. To me, that's not exactly a faster pace, so I'll give it a no for that one. Is the course under 25 hours? Actually, the course has 69 hours of on-demand video, so <laughs> it's definitely not under 25 hours. Are there projects? Yes, there are more than one project in the course. Guided practice, I'm also pretty sure there it is. Coding challenges, there are several of them. There are no sections about frameworks in this course. And the last point, I'm gonna say not as far as I am aware. Number 8. JavaScript, the complete guide 2022, beginner plus advanced. Created by Academine by Maximilian Schwartzmuller. This course is available on Udemy. It was last updated November 2021, so it is current. This course is beginner friendly. It can definitely be your first JavaScript course. I'm gonna play one of the free sections. A JavaScript engine can be part or can be executed in different environments. The most well known environment is the browser. 
Modern browsers have JavaScript engines built in and they're therefore capable of executing JavaScript code. I would say that this is a modern ad base. It's not exactly slow, but it also is not fast. The length of this course is 52 hours, so that makes it over 25 hours. This course does have quite a lot of content. There are projects. This course definitely pays attention to practice and I think that for JavaScript that's a very very good thing. So in terms of frameworks, he does offer a follow-up but is in a version of a separate course. There isn't any easy way to connect with the instructor directly. Number 7. The Modern JavaScript Bootcamp Course 2022 created by Colt Steele and Steven Greiner. Another Udemy course. This course was updated in 2022, so it is current. It is beginner-friendly, definitely good for a first JavaScript course. I will play a little bit. Type words here, and here, and here. So that would be textual information, which in JavaScript is called a string. It is a moderate pace, but I would have liked it if the course was moving along faster through the topics. This is another lengthy course. It is 52 hours of video and that means that is definitely not under 25 hours. There are projects included. Now in the functions section, I'm pretty sure that there are challenges. Yes, there are challenges. This course doesn't have designated chapters or sections on normal browser sites frameworks, but it does have one section on node-based framework. Getting in touch with either one of the instructors is pretty much impossible, so I'll say no to that. Number 6. JavaScript, the Advanced Concepts, 2022 Update. Created by Andre Nigoi from Zero to Mastery. The second last Udemy course that I have in this video. It was last updated this month, actually, May 2022. This course is actually beginner friendly. However, I don't believe that it's good for a first JavaScript course, not because I think that it's advanced level, but because there are some topics that are simply not covered. Now let's hear the pace. All right. And then we have food thoughts that gets assigned this entire piece of function. We don't run this function. It just says, hey, Food thoughts is going to equal this function. And then on line 14, the pace is moderate. Again, I wouldn't consider this to be a faster pace. The course is 25 hours of video. There aren't any projects included in the course, but there is guided practice in forms of exercises. The course itself doesn't cover anything framework related, but the instructor does have other courses. I believe I have the React course. He also has an Angular course. No means of contacting the instructor directly are provided. Number five. JavaScript video tutorials by James Q. Quick. James creates great JavaScript related content and his videos are available on YouTube. His videos are current. He even uploaded a JavaScript related video yesterday. I cannot recommend his videos as a first JavaScript course only because he hasn't bundled his JavaScript related content into a single course, but I decided to include him in this list as a reminder that good information doesn't always have to come in the form of a designated course. He is uploading consistently and you can learn a lot from his videos. Asynchronous JavaScript, callbacks, promises, async await, huh? This is one of the most difficult concepts for me to learn in JavaScript, but don't worry because we'll break it all down in about 10 minutes. His pace is a bit faster. I will add a mark for under 25 hours because each of his videos is shorter than that and you can decide how much you want to watch. I don't think that he has any projects, at least I couldn't find any on his YouTube channel, but he does have a playlist with practical exercises. When it comes to frameworks, he does have videos on React, on Angular, he's comparing React with Angular, he's comparing React with Vue. Number 4. Complete JavaScript course, created by Hitesh Chaudhry. This course is available for free on his YouTube channel. The videos are from 2020, so I consider them to be current. The course is good for a first JavaScript course. His pace is a bit faster, and this is something that I like, and I will play a sample in a little bit. The length of the playlist in total is 10 hours and 49 minutes, which is under 25 hours. 
there is a project included. You can code along and do the exercises as he's explaining. He actually has videos on frameworks too on his YouTube channel. He has a view crash course and he also has a website where I have his React.js course. Instructor said that he can be contacted about simple doubts but not too complex coding problems. He talks about scope and he's really explaining scope in a nice way. He, he says it in the video, but he, it's true. It's true. He's giving you examples. And this is something that I will remember this course by because it worked. I'm actually remembering what he said about the ice cream, about the child. Now let's come back on to another guy, which is scope chain. For scope chain, I'm going to tell you a story and just remember this and you will never ever have any problem in JavaScript about scope chain. So the story is about a small kid. So this blue guy here at the very sm at the very center is a guy who is a kid and he got a popsicle or in other terms is ha is having an ice cream. So this guy can eat his own ice cream, but it he if he introduces something new, a different approach. And I really, really like when instructors do that. So have a look at his course. Number three. Modern JavaScript from the Beginning, created by Brad Traversy from Traversy Media. This course is on Udemy. It was last updated in 2019. The information in it is still relevant, so I consider it current. This can be a great choice for your first JavaScript course. It was one of the first courses that I took. It is very enjoyable, faster pace. The course is 21 and a half hours long, so it is under 25 hours. There are projects included. I usually code along as he goes through the topics. The way he explains things is just very, very easy to understand. For me, that's just easiest course to connect with. Honestly, easiest courses, not just one course, easiest courses to connect with all along. As I mentioned in my previous video, which was about front-end web development courses, I actually started the course which was by Brad Traversy and it was about HTML and CSS. I really enjoyed this course and I have few more of his courses now, few of the ones that he has on Udemy. I have the React course. So he does have a framework follow-up. He doesn't offer ways of contacting him directly, but in addition to the courses that Brad has on Udemy, he also has a great YouTube channel with a lot of crash courses that are available for free. There is also a JavaScript crash course. And I just have to say that I absolutely love the intro of his videos. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to my updated JavaScript crash course for beginners. So I did what this gives us is something called a node list, which is very similar to an array. In fact, we can run array methods on it. He includes just the right amount of information. He is not overwhelming you with things that you don't need and he is not like missing things. He really, really has some of the best courses out there. Number two, JavaScript Essential Training by Morton Rand Hendrickson. The Morton course on LinkedIn, which I actually finished recently. Now, this course had two versions. It had the 2017 version and it had the 2021 version. And I don't know why, uh, first time when I was watching the first version, I was just like so completely lost. Like my brother was, you gotta watch this guy. He's on LinkedIn. He's amazing. So my brother actually told me about Morton and, um, and I was like, he was making like the clock. I think, I think it was ECMAScript 5 back then. 2007. No, it shouldn't have been because it was 2017, but I don't know. For some reason, the first version of this course was just like too much for me. It was too overwhelming. I couldn't follow along. I didn't know what was going on. And um, so I started this course, I think it was 2020 when I started the older version of the course. And then I stopped and I'm like, okay, JavaScript is not for me. I'm not getting this. I just, I just can't. And then, um, a lot of things happened, a lot of things, and then I revisited the newer version of the course and I was just like, wow, wow, that's just amazing. Like finally everything was just like put together because, you know, all the rest of the courses, they're kind of showing you snippets of code, not in the whole context. You're not building a whole thing while this course, not only that he shows you a different approach, different way of seeing things, it's just, you know, honestly, he's just like 
things finally started to click. I mean, of course, there are other things going on as well. I mean, I was learning jQuery, which helped too. But yeah, the course just just seeing things from his perspective, showing shown in that way, that just it was it was a game changer for me. Definitely, this course did wonders for me, and that's why I really want to recommend it because he's showing more than snippets of code, and you can actually follow the logic and understand what's going on. And that to me, that's just awesome and amazing, and it's definitely super important. And finally, number one, JavaScript courses by Caleb Talian. I have a few of Caleb's courses. This one is called JavaScript for Beginners with six projects. You can see that right now I don't have this course here on Udemy. And that is because I got it through Caleb's website, Arbington. Arbington is an online learning platform where you can find a lot of courses on many different topics. I'm going to look for the same JavaScript course and I'm going to open it up over here. I already know that the information in this course is current and this can be your first JavaScript course. Let's talk about a subject, a keyword that is kind of scary to a lot of new developers. And that is the this keyword. Now, th when I say keyword, I mean it's a reserved word. So Caleb's pace of speaking and explaining is a little bit faster, which in case you haven't figured out by now, I consider it to be a great plus. This course is under 25 hours. You already know, even by the title, there are projects included. There are also little tasks and challenges along the way. Caleb does have a React course. And I'm going to talk more about the last point on my checklist in just a little bit. He is someone that really, really inspires me. Not only that he has so many courses, he has his own platform. And the best thing out of all, he's the only one on this list who is offering something super unique. And that is the opportunity to talk to him for 15 minutes if you have questions regarding the courses or anything that he's teaching. 15 minutes really are a lot when you are trying to figure out like some bug or something in the code that is not working really. That is definitely enough time and this is just super important important for everyone in their journey especially again just dealing with html and css you're like okay i can do this everything is fine but then you go to javascript and you're like i suck i can't do anything like this really sucks and and you get frustrated you get frustrated on so many levels so many ways and i definitely definitely recommend caleb he is a top instructor and he is experienced in a lot more things than javascript but i am learning javascript and react right now this is why i am making this video now and I'm focusing on JavaScript. There have been a lot of things that I wanted to share in this video. So whatever I missed, I will try to add it on my blog post. You can have a look at my other videos. A lot of them are web development related. Have a look at the links in description. Thank you so much for watching this video and I really do hope to see you next time. Bye for now. So my checkbox bar. I designed each circle individually and the marks inside of it, I made those in Photoshop, but what if there is a software, a video editing software that can have this feature already built in? I am pretty sure that there are video editors that do have that. Who knows, maybe it's a paid feature or something like that. For all I know, all those people could just be digital voices somewhere, you know? You don't see them in the video, you don't know what's going on. I know they're real people, but you know what I mean? It gives you that sort of feeling of disconnect because of ES5 and ES6. Now, ES5 is a little bit of older ECMAScript, JavaScript, which, I mean, it is nice to know, but like it's not used so much. So it is important that the course that you're following it, I, I think it's better that the course that you're, um, so I think that the course that you're starting is better to be updated and with the most current version of JavaScript other than that. And to be honest, uh, ECMAScript 5 is a